So today we will see another concept in the subject computer graphics that is the types of the curves. So in this video I am going to cover the concepts like what exactly the curve is and what are the different types of the curves and what is a Bezier curve and what is a B-spline curve. Okay. So, uh, so far we had discussed about like the lines, uh, we are, we are trying to draw the line segments on the, in the 3D plane and the 2D plane, okay, different objects can be drawn by using the line segment, okay, so if you want to draw the uh, co uh, triangle or square or rectangle and whatever the, or diamond, anything, you require the line segment, but when you want to draw the circle, a curve is required. Okay, with the help of the curves only, you are going to draw the circle. By using the line segment, you can't draw the curve, right or uh, circle, right or wrong. So, this is the line segment. So, using the line segment, you can't draw the circle. So, how, how the curve, circle is going to be drawn with the help of the curves? So, let's take a three points. So, this is uh, one curve, okay. And this is another curve. And this is another curve. Okay, with the help of the three points, uh, with the help, uh, by joining the points and the, with the help of the curves, a circle is going to be drawn on the screen. So, a curve consists of infinitely large set of points. Those points have a property that any point has two neighbors. If you take a, a point, any point has a two neighbors. So, if you see this diagram, in this diagram, this is a point. This point has a two neighbors, right or wrong? This is one neighbor and this is another neighbor. And this point has this neighbor and this neighbor, like that. So, any point has two neighbors, except for a small number of points, they have on one neighbor only, called as an end point. So, if you take a, a small number of points, if it is an infinite means, infinite means a two neighbors will be there. So, if you consider a small number of points, then have only one neighbor, that is the end point. So, if you see in this diagram, so this is a point, for this point, this is the end point. Only uh, these are the neighbor points and one end point. For this, only one neighbor is there. And for this, only one neighbor is there. Okay, if one neighbor is there, then, but then we call it as an end point. Some curve in a plane has no end points also because they are infinite or they are closed loop. When they are closed loop, just like a circle, there are no end points. For the circle, there is no end point because they are infinite or they are closer loop. Okay. So, here this is a line segment and this is one curve and this is another curve and this is another curve like this. A curve or with the help of a curve, a wave is drawn. A wave is drawn on the plane. So, what are the features of the curves? To draw an object, we need curves many times because objects are not always in a flat. Right or wrong? You, if you consider all the objects are not always flat. Some objects like world should be it requires a curve. Okay. So to draw an object, we need curves many times. It consists of infinitely large set of points also. If you want to draw the curve, any uh, object that it is not a flat, for that object, infinite large set of points may be required. Each point has two neighbors except end point. Now, let's see the different types of the curves, implicit curves, explicit curves and parametric curves. So, the parametric curves are very important. Nowadays, we are all working on the parametric curves only. First, let's see what is this implicit curve. Implicit, the name itself is saying the points that lies on the, play, on the curve, that is an implicit curve. A set of points on a curve that Test to see whether if a point is present on the curve is considered as an implicit curve. So, see here, this is one end point and this is another end point. A curve is drawn here with the help of some points. The point that lies on the curve, you call it as an implicit. Okay. So, these points are outside the curve. The implicit function that defines the implicit curve is f of x, is, f of x comma y is equal to 0. So, whenever this function is there, f of x comma y is equal to 0, this type of representation that you call it as implicit curve. It is a scalar function which returns a single real number. So, it is going to return a single real number. Single real number. Okay. 
Now coming to the explicit curves. The curve is represented in the form of y is equal to f of x naught. If f of x comma y is equal to 0, then it is called implicit. Implicit. If the curve is represented in the form of y is equal to f of x, then it is explicit. It is called explicit curve. For every value of x, a single value of y. For every value, every value of x, a single value of y is normally computed by the function. The explicit represent is not general. Why it is not general? Because it is single value. It cannot represent a vertical line. Because it is a curve, explicit curve, it cannot represent a vertical line. Now coming to the parametric curves. So what is this parametric curves? The curves that having the parametric values, that type of curves we call it as a parametric curves. There, these are mostly used curves in computer graphics. If you want to go with the 2D par, uh, parametric curve, the representation is Q of t is equal to f of t comma g of t. What is this f and g? f and g are nothing but the functions. So, which becomes the x and y coordinates, x and y coordinates of any point on the curve. And these points are obtained when parameter value is valid in the interval 0, 1. In between the interval uh, t, uh, interval 0, 1, these x and y coordinates are weighing and generating a function q of t. Okay, this is a parametric curve representation. Now, coming to the Bezier curve. curve. This Bezier curve is very, very important. Bezier curves used in 2D graphics applications. Generally, these Bezier curves are work on the 2D graphic applications like Adobe Illustrations, InkSpace, etc. These Bezier curves are used in the computer graphics for animations, modelings, etc. Okay, so the Bezier is used in the computer graphics as well as in the animations, as well as in the modeling for modeling technology, we are using this Bezier curves. Actually, this Bezier curves is defined by four points. Remember that. The first point is initial position. So, in this diagram, this is the initial position. Let me take a look. Okay. This is the initial position P0. And terminating position. Second point. This is the terminating position. In between, there are two more points. So, P0 and p3 uh, sorry uh, p1 and p p1 and p2 these are the two separate middle points so these these four points are very very useful so the bezier complete bezier curve is depends upon these four points only initial position this is the initial and this is the terminating this is the terminating and here this is p1 and p2 are the middle points Okay, so where P0 and P3 are anchors, P0 and P3, P0, P3 we usually call as anchors and P1 and P2 are called handles. We call the initial and the terminating point as anchors and P1 and P2 we call it as a handles. Okay, so then how this it is working, so here see here, so based on this initial point it is going to draw the curve, this is a uh, middle point. So, with the help of the middle point, this is going to be generated. Okay. So, now coming to see what is a B spline curve. A B spline curve comes, uh, curves overcome the disadvantages of the Bezier curve. It overcomes the disadvantages of Bezier curve. So, what is the disadvantage of Bezier curve? A Bezier curve faces some problem. What is that problem? That when we change any of the control point, uh, a control point here if you see this is the control point right or wrong this is a control point p1 and p2 are the control point if we change any of the control point respective location the whole curve shape is gets changed okay if you want to try to this change the whole shape is good if you want to move this point like this the complete whole curve shape is this is a curve shape the whole curve shape is going to be changed where in baseline curve the only a specific, okay, okay. So, uh, when in the B-spline curve, the only a specific segment of the curve shape gets changed or affected by changing the corresponding location of the control points. So, in the B-spline, 
only specific segment of the curve shape is going to be changed not the complete structure whereas in the bezier curve if you try to change any control point respective location the complete whole curve shape is going to be changed in a b spline curve the control points impart local control over the curve shape rather than the global control like bezier curve so see here this is an image so in this image uh, in the b, by using the b spline so this is p0 and this is a p3 okay initial and the terminating points and the p1 and the p2 or there is a middle point so this is the segment 1 and this is the segment 2 so if you are trying to uh, drag the point so this p1 is uh, dragging here so now the b curve shape after changing the position of the control point so here the p1 is nothing but the control point okay if i am trying to change the control point so i came to here only this part it's still like but here this second segment it's remain same only but whereas in the bezier curve the complete the curve shape is going to be changed but in the b spline only uh, this part a little bit change will be occurred whereas in the second segment the shape is as it is only so these are the different types of the curve students uh, i think you'll uh, get it so still if you are facing any doubts please let me know thank you